Welcome to our online training. Today we will be covering the basic functions of the downloader. This includes updating the symbol database, creating local data files, downloading data, and an understanding of the differences between local data and data on demand. Today's training is designed to instruct in some of the basics of Metastock and the downloader program. We will provide some guidelines for using certain features within the software. However, nothing presented in this training is intended as or should be construed to be a recommendation to buy or sell any specific security. The information, software, and techniques presented today should only be used by investors who are aware of the risks inherent in trading. Equus shall have no liability for any investment decisions based on the use of their software any trading strategies, or any information provided in connection with the company. At the conclusion of today's online training, you should be able to update your symbol database, create folders with your list of securities, download data, and the differences between local data and data on demand. For today's training, we will launch the downloader from within Metastock. Select Tools, the downloader. Before we start creating folders and securities, we will begin by updating the symbol database. This process will update the list of symbols in the downloader to ensure the list of symbols being used to create your data files are the most current list. We recommend updating the symbol database once a month by the fifth of each month. Then rebuild your folders to incorporate the updated list. To update your symbol database, from the downloader, select Tools, Update Symbol Database. Once the update is complete, Hit close to the symbol update window and then close and reopen up the downloader to ensure that it will read the newest list of symbols. Now we will show you how to create folders and place securities within those folders. If you use a different data feed vendor, the format for your symbols may be different than what is being used in today's training. To begin, let's select File, New, Security. In the folder section, either manually type the folder path to create a new folder. To select an existing folder from your hard drive, use the Browse function. For training purposes, let's create a new folder. The path and folder name we will use is C colon backslash metastock data backslash online training. The first date section tells the server how far back it should go to get the data. For today's training, we will use the last two years. There are three ways to change the first date. You can highlight the portion of the date you would like to change and type in the proper date. You can use the drop down menu and select the proper date through the calendar. And lastly, you can highlight one of the date fields and use your up or down arrows to fill in the proper date. The periodicity is the time frame of the data that we would like to collect. We have daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly. For our training today, we will select daily. To change the units to fractions instead of decimals, click on the units box and select the desired units. For today's trainings, we will use the default and select decimal. If you know the symbol 
simply enter the name and symbol in the appropriate vendor specific format. If you don't know the symbol for a particular security, are selecting multiple symbols, or are a Reuters data link customer and are not sure of the proper symbol format, click on the lookup button. This will open the symbol database. The top line in the symbol database breaks the symbols down by type. Left clicking on the drop down arrow will reveal all of the different categories. For our example, we will use Stocks Common. If you're using Quote Center, your listing will read Stocks North American. After selecting Stocks Common or Stocks North American, we'll move down to the Groups field. The default setting for the Groups field is All, but it can be used to further narrow a search. For example, we could select the NASDAQ, which would then show just the stocks listed in the NASDAQ. For training purposes, let's select the NYSE. The search field allows you to further narrow your selection and search either by name or symbol. The symbol database will automatically exclude any name or symbol that doesn't match the search criteria. Let's select name and type in W. The only companies visible now are those that start with W. Now type in W A L space M and it will pull up Walmart stores ORD. Now backspace out the M, the L, and the A. So now we once again see the company starting with just W. On the right side of the screen, select the Select All button, then hit OK. We now have multiple listed in the Name, Symbol, and Units field since we have chosen more than one security. Now click OK. Since the folder does not exist, the system will ask to create the folder. Click Yes to create the folder. Now that we have created the folder and added securities to that folder, we will start the data download process. In the downloader, select Tools, Download Prices. The left pane will show a folder tree of the different drives of your computer. Now using the file path we wrote down earlier, we'll browse to the correct location. We'll highlight the desired folder and click onto the Add button, which will move the folder to the right hand side, selecting it for a data download. Once the folder has been added to the right pane, click onto Securities to see the individual securities within the highlighted folder. Those securities with a check mark next to them are selected for a data download. Now click OK and this will bring up the vendor selection window. In the vendor selection window, end date is the last date the downloader will request data for. This will default to the computer's current date. When downloading futures or commodities, check the recollect commodities option. This will collect the actual open interest and volume for commodities. These typically are not reported by the exchange until the next day. When downloading stocks, selecting the automatic stock split option will adjust the data for stock splits. We recommend this to be checked so that the data will match that reported by the exchange. Clicking the Vendor Options button will bring up the Vendor Options window, showing the ID and password for the specified vendor. In this case, that vendor is Reuters Data Link. Click on OK to return to the Vendor Selection window. Left click onto the tab for your data vendor. For training purposes, we are using Reuters Data Link. Make sure you're connected to the Internet and hit OK to begin the download process. This will launch the Q Center screen showing the status of the data download process.
Once the data collection is complete, the collection report will appear. This report provides status messages for each security in the data collection. Green check marks next to the securities indicate data was collected and stored. A red cross within a box indicates there has been some kind of data correction. A pink X next to the securities indicate there is a problem collecting the prices. Please contact Metastock Support for help troubleshooting any download problems. There are two types of data that Metastock can use to plot charts. The first type is local data which is stored to your hard drive and must be updated each night with new prices using the downloader, just like we reviewed. The second is data on demand, which uses the internet to pull data into Metastock to populate a chart on demand. Let's briefly review the pros and cons. The pros of data on demand is the entire security database is at your fingertips. Data on demand is the quickest way to view a chart. Simply type in the symbol and the data appears. Data corrections or changes will automatically be reflected on your chart. The cons of data on demand is that it requires an active internet connection and running explorations or backtesting can be slow when using data on demand. This concludes our overview of the downloader. We have reviewed how to update the symbol database, create local data files, populate those data files with current end-of-day data, as well as the differences between local data and data on demand. We hope you have wonderful success with our outstanding software.